Creation is community. So I think that has to be your core of what you do. That's our philosophy, to be as strong as we can in all our rec sports. And then outside of that, you can capitalize on the monetary side, uh, the economic growth, the tournaments on the weekends, uh, getting people in the town to support all the new businesses that are occurring here in Youngsville. The, the, the first goal was to provide a, a, a very good recreation experience for our residents, to make sure that we took care of kids from Broussard and the surrounding areas and let them have a place where they can come play baseball, soccer, and enjoy activities right here at home. Beyond that, the sports complex gives us an opportunity to attract people from other areas into Broussard to, to be part of baseball, softball tournaments, soccer tournaments, all of it to help the local businesses in Broussard to, uh, to bring people to eat at restaurants, to stay at our hotels, and just to experience uh, Broussard and all that we have to offer. Well, for towns like Broussard and Youngsville, putting in a sports complex, yeah, no brainer. A place for residents to enjoy, but also somewhere to host tournaments and businesses will follow. Well, that plan proving to be a moneymaker for both small towns, seeing rapid growth in the last few years, but about 30 minutes down the road off of I-10, another small town getting in on the action, their reason for a sports complex, less about that economic growth and more about building a future for the kids in their community. Parenting and more with Katie is sponsored by Our Lady of Lourdes Women's and Children's Hospital, recently named by Newsweek Magazine as one of America's best maternity hospitals 2023. From conception to delivery, we're here for you through all maternity. We wouldn't get that many more fields out of it because we would have to build new restrooms, new concession facilities. It was a dream for Peter Kirsch. A place for kids in the Crowley community to gather, all sharing a common love of sports. These are where these kids get their first lesson in civic pride, teamwork, accountability, responsibility, and it really, it really joins the community together. They come from different schools, different backgrounds, different walks of life, and for that hour and a half a day or two hours that day, they're teammates and they're one unit, and that's where they learn to work together towards the, a common goal. Becoming director of the Tony Robichaux Sports Complex, Peter wanting to make sure that dream of having a place for these kids to go, one they could be proud of, a reality. It was a new administration, new council. Uh, we had recognized, they had recognized that something needed to be done. So uh, at that time, they, they gave me the freedom to run wild and said, look, put together a wish list of what you would like to see, how you would like to see it done. And, and let's start the conversation. That conversation starting with replacing traditional grass with turf, a big expense, but one that could pay for itself in the long run. And, and there was, we have three high schools and a college that use our facilities. You get a one inch or a two inch rain, you might be washed out for two days. You know, then the expense of trying to get the field turned over, long term effects, all of those off season repairs that need to be done, it adds up. Turf in the next step, fixing the outdated lighting system, upgrading concession stands and bathrooms. But what we did was something unique. We, we retrofitted our property and our fields with artificial turf surfaces. We did not acquire property. We didn't bulldoze anything. So you still have that, that small community, old park feel. We're spread out, there's trees, there's grass. There's a lot of different things all over. While other towns his size are gearing their complexes to the masses, hosting tournaments nearly every weekend, helping to fuel the economy, he and his team taking a different approach, appealing to the people living right here in the community of Crowley and the surrounding areas of Acadia Parish. Our future is we want to see our local programming grow. That's our goal is, is community first, and that's what we're trying to accomplish. This was an economic a development project that involved the recreation upgrade for us. Mm -hmm. And our kids in Crowley are reaping the benefits of that. And that's what it was for. That's our core. That's why we do what we do is to provide a service to the kids mm -hmm. of Crowley. The tournaments and the out of town visitors and the sales tax increases are the method by which we fund it for our kids. Peter says there's so much more they'd like to do in coming years, but this is a great start, one that continues bringing a community together.
a lot of fun for the kids and, you know, give, give them some activity. Beautiful shots there, too. I could tell that that was shot a while ago, A, because you were wearing a jacket, uh -huh. and B, because everything was so green. It was so green. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that was shot probably... The, Badar, who's directing right now, he yes. shot that with me. Good and I job. believe it was like early April. It was right after. So remember on when we had that huge rain on uh, Good Friday? Yeah, so, yeah. And Katie Parrish got a lot of it. Yeah. Um, it was after that. Yeah. So that's why he's talking about the rain and all that. So yeah, that's why right now it wouldn't make much sense. I, but love, I love having you know, the recreation in all these uh, smaller communities like that. It just it really is going to bring people in. It just gives things for you know people to do. But like you mentioned, those tournaments can come in. And that is a money-making machine. Well, and I don't know if, uh, if you guys, but this story was done maybe a year or two ago where um, actually Crowley, Youngsville, and Broussard are coming together and they've put their calendars together. So it's not oh, even a competition cool. thing. Because like they said, if we can't host, well, maybe you're better at hosting this and then I can host this. Yeah. So then everyone kind of gets a little piece of the pie. And parents know any of these tournaments that you've been to and you're there for four or five days or meets or whatever, you spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you do. And how nice is it, like, if you're really only 30 minutes from home? Right. Right, versus having to go out of state or whatever it is. So this story's on KETC.com, just in case you missed it. Awesome. Time right